Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Square Payments in Orbis X so that you can start collecting deposits and invoice payments from your customers. And this will enable it for things like gift cards, uh, which are found under finances. It'll enable it for your invoices and deposit payments, um, as well as even tips and gratuities. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is go to Admin, then go to Settings and Options. Scroll down and go to Integrations. This is where you're going to see a bunch of different things like Stripe, Square, Twilio. There's other ones if you go down, but we're focused on this here, Square Payments. You're going to want to click Authorize. Then follow the prompts. It's going to ask you to log in to your Square account. So you simply log in. And then once you've logged in, now it's going to say Revoke Access. That means that once you're at this screen, you have basically authorized Square. If we scroll up to the top, it says Square has been authorized. Um, so the minute you see that, you know that you're in good shape uh, because that means that Square has access. Now, Square does require your access tokens to renew um, periodically, usually every 30 days. Orbis X will handle that for you. So every time that you log in, it will check to see if you need a new access token and it'll generate a new one if you do. Now, once Square is enabled, you have some different options uh, available when you see your invoices. I'll show you here, I'll pull up an invoice list and you have different options for collecting payment. So right now, if I click payment, I see a bunch of different options. So I see offline, Square, Stripe, uh, but let's say you're not using Stripe and you're only using Square and you don't wanna see uh, too many things on your screen, you can disable or enable those and I'll show you how as well. And you can also set up both Square and Stripe and flip back and forth interchangeably. To do so from your settings page, so once again, we're still in the settings, so admin, settings and options. We're gonna scroll down to where it says invoices and payments. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna scroll down to the payments methods pop-up section. And this is where you can hide the ones that you're not gonna be using. So you can hide those ones or you can, let's say you're not gonna be taking any web payments with Square, you can hide that and you're only gonna do in-person payments. Uh, you have all those options just to, you know, declutter your viewport. Now, the other part here is the default web payment gateway. So this right now, when you authorize Square, it'll set itself to Square. By default, it's set to Stripe. Uh, so you can choose or change that at any time. And what that does is whenever links are sent to customers to pay online, it'll use whichever default payment gateway you have set here. If you set it to Square, when it sends an invoice link to a customer, it's going to basically send them a Square link. If you have it Stripe, it's gonna send them a Stripe one. Now, regardless of what you have set here, this is only for what gets sent to customers by default. You can choose, so you could, let's say you wanna take some payments with Square, some payments with Stripe. You can do that um, you know, by enabling both of these options. And then what you do is whenever you're on the invoices list, I'll go back here, you just choose which one you want to pay. So even though right now our default payment link is square, I can choose, I could click on this, uh, well, Stripe's in test mode right now, but this is for the Stripe terminal. So basically I would be able to, if I had this set in live mode, I would be able to do that uh, through Stripe. So that's where uh, you do have those options uh, to use whichever one you want to process payments for by on the add payment uh, screen. Uh, you can even do offline but the default one that gets sent to customers will depend on what you have set here for default, default web payment gateway. So that's essentially all you have to do for Square and then Square will be set up. Uh, so now if I was to, for example, click on Square in person, boom, it's gonna show my little Square reader and it's gonna ask me for the payment stuff and I can click send to Square reader and it'll send that over. Um, so basically everything will be set up as soon as you authorize your account and you set your default payment gateway. 